everyone. I'd like to welcome you to the podcast for Real Life Heroines, where I get to interview real life heroines about how they answered a call to do something bigger, which evolved them to be bigger, a heroine. That's the heroine's journey, answering a call and leaving your comfort zone. And also, I share my own wisdom about the heroine's journey, what I've learned. Today, we'll talk about the overall pattern, ordinary life and the call, the overall path. There is a higher pattern to the journey, a summarizing formula, separation, initiation or transformation, and return, which Campbell called the nuclear unit of the monomyth. Quote, a hero ventures forth from the world of common day into a region of supernatural wonders. Fabulous forces are there encountered and a decisive victory is won. The hero comes back from this mysterious adventure with the power to bestow boons on his fellow man. End of quote. This is also the same path of rites of passage. The boons or gifts are what we uniquely own, the particular mixture of talents and abilities that we and only we can express. So the journey overall is about setting us free to express those gifts that can help heal the world. Quote, the effect of the successful adventure of the hero is the unlocking and release again of the flow of life into the body of the world also Joseph Campbell. One of my teachers, Gail Larson, author of Transformational Speaking, calls this your medicine, your particular blend of talents and abilities that's nowhere else duplicated. But we start first where we are in ordinary life, where the heroine first finds herself before she receives her call. Ordinary life, we stop for a moment to assess where we are. We have yet to go on our heroine's journey, on our adventure that will stretch us beyond our normal boundaries. We're here now and haven't left. What does our current terrain look like? Who are you now? What are your likes, dislikes? Who do you hang out with? What do you do for fun? How do you get along with your family? Do you work? What do you do? This is the opening scene of your movie. How would we see you as you go about your day? The call. Quote again from Joseph Campbell from A Hero with a Thousand Faces. But whether great or small, and no matter what the stage or grade of life, the call rings up the curtain always on a mystery of transfiguration, a rite or moment of spiritual passage, which when complete amounts to a dying and a birth. The familiar life horizon has been outgrown. The old concepts, ideals, and emotional patterns no longer fit. The time for the passing of a threshold is at hand." End of quote. The heroine is in ordinary life. Things are running along as they usually do until something happens. There's a call. This can be an event, a purpose, person seeking her out, an inner urging, a call to leave ordinary life and to enter an unknown world, an adventure. Sometimes calls are from that still small voice within what you might call your intuition. You might have a nudge, a gut feeling to do something. It may also come as a feeling that you've outgrown where you are in your job, in a relationship. It just doesn't seem to be working for you anymore. Or external circumstances can be the call. You get fired. You get offered a promotion. Someone says something that causes you to rethink a situation. Calls can come from anywhere and everywhere. 
John P. Schuster in his book, Answering Your Call, A Guide for Living Your Deepest Purpose, writes that there are different theories about where calls come from. They can come from the more spiritually, theologically inclined. They can think the call is God talking to you. For the more psychologically inclined, the call is your higher self sending you a message about what you should be doing. For the more biologically inclined, the call is our brain cells, which need stimulation or they shrivel up under the routine of life. So the call and its urges and voices are sets of neurons stretching themselves out for new stimulation, the kind that comes from new challenges. For the more sociologically inclined, the call is the part of society and your upbringing that you have coded into your own eternal messages, saying, you who wake up and get on with your life. How you respond is completely up to you. Some people go for it and respond right away to their call. Some people think about it a while. Some people think about it a long while. And some people avoid it like the plague. The latter is called refusal of the call in heroin's journey terminology. And it can go on for years. Timing is everything here. When and how to answer a particular call is completely unique to the person. You just might not be ready when the call first comes around. Peter S. Beagle, who wrote The Last Unicorn, wrote, quote, heroes know that things must happen when it's time for them to happen. A quest may not simply be abandoned. Unicorns may go unrescued for a long time, but not forever. A happy ending cannot come in the middle of a story." Unquote. Personally, when I've had a call that I try to ignore because it's scary or for whatever reason, it just doesn't leave me alone. It keeps reappearing in my consciousness and that tells me I need to pay attention. Refusal of the summons, Joseph Campbell tells us again, converts the adventure into its negative. Walled in boredom, hard work, or culture, the subject loses the power of significant aff affirmation action and becomes a victim to be saved. This is again from the hero with a thousand faces. Refusal of the call can become the dreaded wake up call hitting us a lot harder than if we paid attention in the first place. Our soul will not let us rest until we follow. As we've seen, there are adventures that you choose to undertake. This heroine sets out to perform the deed, like the adventure of finding your next career. There are also adventures into which you are thrown like being laid off from your job or fired, or you find out your spouse is having an affair, or you fall in love and have an affair. There's also the blunder. You fall into an adventure unknowingly. You have no idea what you're doing, but suddenly find yourself in an adventure and in the unknown and on a journey. The Frog King, one of Grimm's fairy tales, is a good example of a blunder falling into an adventure by mistake. The princess drops her golden ball into the well and it sets off a set of circumstances that she never could have anticipated. Again, from Joseph Campbell, a blunder, apparently the merest chance, reveals a world you didn't even know was there. Blunders are not the merest chance. They are the result of suppressed desires and conflicts. They are ripples on the surface of life produced by unsuspected springs. What's important is to note that something has happened. There's been a shift. Ask yourself if you're experiencing a call. If so, how do you feel about it? 
excited, scared, in denial. Here's how I've heard some calls expressed. I know I'm ready to do something different, but I have no idea what it is. I'm burnt out and need to leave this field, but I feel like I have to keep doing it because of the money. I found out my husband has been seeing someone else and I moved out last week and in with my mother. I have to find a new house and get serious about my side business. I've been a lawyer for 28 years. I've just closed down my practice and want to write and travel. My girls are out of the house and doing well. I'm lonely. The first step is to really recognize that it is a call. The call isn't a random feeling to be dismissed. It's something that has occurred from within or without because change is needed. So is anything bubbling up? Did a white rabbit just run by who's piqued your curiosity? Or is a tornado swirling your house up into the sky? Our calls aren't usually the calls we read about in books. What dreams have you had? Being quiet helps you to hear your call. What calls have you received in the past? Were they easy to hear? How did you react to them? Which ones did you refuse? Were you one of those people that had to have a wake-up call? Thank you for joining me for this episode. And please stay tuned for the next one. And remember, you are a heroine.